Welcome to the spoken tutorial on create a threefold brochure using Enscape. In this tutorial, we will learn to use guidelines and to set them, settings for a threefold brochure, design a threefold brochure. We will also learn the importance of using layers. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS, Enscape version 0.48.4. This is a sample threefold brochure. As we open it, we can see the three folds. So, there are six sections in all. The outer side contains sections 1, 5 and 6. The inner side of the brochure contains section 2, 3 and 4. Let us learn how to create a brochure like this one. Open Inkscape, click on File and go to Document Properties. Let us do some basic settings first. Change default units to mm, page size to a4, orientation to landscape, custom size units to mm. We have to divide the canvas into three folds. For that, observe that the width of the canvas is 297. So, we have to divide 297 into three parts, which is 99 for each of the three sections. Close the document properties dialog box now. Click and drag a guideline from the left side onto the canvas. Double click on this guideline. A dialog box opens up. Change the value of X to 99 and click on OK. Click and drag another guideline from the left side onto the canvas. Double click on it to open the dialog box. Here, change the value of X to 198. Now our canvas is divided into three equal sections. These guidelines tell us where each fold will start and end. Let us save this file twice. One for the inner side of the brochure and other for the outer side. Go to file and click on save as. I will save the file on my desktop with the name brochure-out.svg. Once again go to file and click on save as. This time I will give the name brochure-in.svg and click on save. So now we have two files, one for the inner sections and one for the outer sections. Let us start with brochure-in.svg. As we go about creating this brochure, it is desirable to use different layers for different elements. Towards the end of this tutorial, we see the benefits of doing so. Let us first design the inner sections of the brochure, that is sections 2, 3 and 4. Using the Bezier tool, draw a graphic illustration in the middle of the canvas. Color it blue. Remove the stroke. Create a new layer and name it as you prefer. Create a circle of 150 by 150 pixels. Color it green. Duplicate the circle and create 5 more circles of different sizes as shown. Place them around the graphic illustration as demonstrated. Inside these circles we will place some images. I have already edited the images to a circular shape and saved them in my documents folder. For your convenience these images have been provided to you in the code files link. Pause the tutorial, click on the link and save these images to your preferred location. After this, resume the tutorial. Go to File, click on Import and then on Image 1. Keep it on the top of the first circle. In a similar way, repeat the steps for the other 5 images. Align them using Align and Distribute option. Now, your canvas should look like this. Next. Create a new layer. Select the Bezier tool and draw a narrow. Color it grey. Remove the stroke. Go to Filters menu. Select Shadows and Glows and then click on Drop Shadow. Check on Preview box to notice the effect. Now click on Apply. Close the dialog box. Keep it on the top of the first circle in an overlapping manner as shown. 
Duplicate this arrow twice to create two more arrows. Keep them on second and third circles respectively as shown. Now all the graphic elements are done. We will now insert the relevant text. On the new layer type introduction on the first arrow. Type features on the second arrow. Type usage on the third arrow. Now we have to insert the text under each of these sections. I will copy and paste the text from a LibreOffice Writer file that I have saved already. This file is available to you in your saved folder. Please locate it and copy the text from it. Then paste it as shown on a new layer. Reduce the font size to 15 and align them using text and font option. Create a bullet of green color using the ellipse tool. Place it to the right of the first sentence. Repeat the same process for all the sentences. Now, the inner part of the brochure is ready. Let's press Ctrl plus S to save our SVG file. Now, you can hide or show the layers that you want in the final brochure. Let us now save the same file into PDF. Go to File, click on Save As. Change the file extension to PDF. Click on Save. A new dialog box appears. For printing purpose, the resolution must be 300. For web, it can be 72. Let me keep it as 300. Now click on OK. Let us now change the opacity of the arrows. Go to the arrows layer and change the opacity of the layer to 70. I have also added a new layer with ink blobs. Save the file in SVG and PDF formats. Compare the two PDFs to understand the difference. Next, let us create the outer part of the brochure. Go to File, click on Open, select brochure-out.svg. Now, we have to design the sections 1, 5 and 6. Once again, remember to use different layers for different elements. Draw a graphic illustration on the top left using the Bezier tool as shown. Color it blue. Remove the stroke. Import Spoken Tutorial logo which is in your saved folder. Reduce the size and place it on the top left corner of the first section. Type Spoken Tutorial and align it to the right of the logo. Change the font size to 25. Draw a circle below the text and color it yellow. Import Inkscape logo. Place it on the top of the yellow circle. Type Inkscape below the logo. Change the font size to 45. I have added details about Spoken Tutorial project and inserted the relevant logos. Please do so likewise. I have aligned all the elements using text and font and align and distribute options. Now the outer side of the brochure is ready. Go to File, click on Save As, change the format to SVG and click on Save. Repeat the same process. Change the extension to PDF, click on Save. This is our completed brochure. If you have used layers for the various elements, then you can conveniently change the colors and opacity. These are two other color schemes that I have created of the same brochure. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to use guidelines and to set the settings for a threefold brochure, design a threefold brochure. We also learned the importance of using layers and obtaining the same brochure in various color schemes. Here is an assignment for you. Create a threefold brochure for spoken tutorial project. Your completed assignment should look like this. The video available at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is supported by the NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti and Saurabh from IIT Bombay signing off. 
Thanks for joining.